Hi, in this fourth video of area, we will learn how to calculate the area of a triangle. So as you can see, I have already drawn one triangle on the grid of unit squares, right? So now let's, let me first name this triangle. I'll name it as A, B and C. As you can see, all the points of this triangle are lying on the crossing points of the grid, right? And uh, also you can see that this triangle is a right angle triangle. Right angle triangle is a triangle in which one angle is 90 degree. So that is why it is called a right angle triangle. Why? Because it has one angle as 90 degree. So what you can say about the dimensions of this particular triangle? This horizontal line is called the base of the triangle and this vertical line is called the perpendicular. It is called the perpendicular. Okay, so the perpendicular is actually a vertical line. But in this particular case of right angle triangle, this AB is not only perpendicular, but it is also the height of the triangle. A is the topmost vertex of the triangle and BC is the base and AB is actually a line which is drawn at 90 degree to the base. So in this particular case, AB is also called the height of the triangle, right? And BC is called the base of the triangle. Okay, so what can we say about the length of the height and the length of the base of the triangle? See, as we know, it is drawn over a grid where each small part of the grid is of unit length. So what can be said about the length AB, which is the height? It is of the length 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. So the height of the triangle is actually 5 units. Similarly, what about the length of the base? Base is actually 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7. Base has 7 units. So length of the base is 7 units, right? Now how to calculate the area of this triangle? This is a right angle triangle and if I do certain construction over the grid, we can actually convert this triangle into a rectangle. Okay, so this is the rectangle and let's name this point as D. So ADCB is a rectangle and this line AC, which is actually the diagonal of the rectangle, actually divides the rectangle into two equal halves and both these halves have the same area. C. It is a rectangle. So DC will be equal to AB. Right? The opposite sides of a rectangle are equal. Similarly, AD will be equal to BC. Again, the same logic. The opposite sides of the rectangle are equal. And AC equal to AC. It is the diagonal of the rectangle which is actually the part of both the triangles. The triangles I'm talking about are triangle ADC and triangle ABC. And among these two triangles, this BC is equal to AB and AD is equal to BC. That means both these triangles are concurrent. Concurrent means both these triangles have exactly same dimensions. And since they have exactly same dimensions, they will have exactly same area. 
that means actually this diagonal ac of the rectangle adcb is dividing the rectangle into two equal parts right that means the area of this part is equal to the area of this part that means the area of triangle a b c is actually the half of the area of rectangle a d c b right and we know the formula of the area of the rectangle which is length multiplied by breadth right so what is the length of this rectangle the length of this rectangle is bc which is 7 unit it is the length and what we can say about the breadth it is the length of ab that is 5 units so this can be said as the breadth of the rectangle right so what will be the area of this rectangle the area of this rectangle will be height let's talk about the original terms of the triangle it will be length that is base multiplied by height right this is the area of the rectangle adcb and what about the area of triangle abc it is half of this isn't it so the area of a triangle is actually half multiplied by base multiplied by height so this is the formula for the area of a right angle triangle okay 